Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the custom crafting plugin. So this is a fantastic plugin that allows you to pretty much create any custom recipe that you want. You can disable recipes, you can create brand new ones using various things such as the furnace, a crafting bench, an advanced workbench, and you can even create custom items. So there's a lot to it. Um, so we're going to jump straight into it. First of all, we are going to have a quick look at some of the recipes I've created. So if we were to go into a workbench and pop down one stick and then two potatoes going diagonally, we will create a golden sword. And then if we go nine potatoes in the crafting, we will get a block of potato with a custom name. So that's the sort of thing that you can do. Obviously I've been messing around with this for a bit. And then if we were to put a diamond chest plate in a furnace, it will go very, very quickly and it will give us an unbreaking diamond chest plate, which is really cool. So you can do so much with this. You can just be as random as you want um, to create any recipes that you want. So to start, we're going to do forward slash CC and that's going to open up the GUI. And if we look at the front page, there are four different sections. There's the crafting bench recipe section, the furnace recipe, the custom item, and finally the recipes section. So if we go into the recipes list to start with, uh, we can see all the different recipes for all of the vanilla items that are in Minecraft. And using the buttons at the top, we can flick through to find one. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick one at random. Let's go with a block of emerald and let's disable it. So if we, I were to give myself some emeralds and try and create it within a crafting bench, you will see that it will not let me. But if we go back into it by doing forward slash CC, and re-enable it, it will allow us to create this item now. There we go, so that's the sort of thing that you can do with this plugin, it's really cool. So you could disable all of the recipes that you do not want for your server. Next, we're going to go into the recipe editor and create a brand new recipe. Obviously, you can edit and delete them as well, uh, but first of all, we're going to grab some items. So let's go ahead and grab some watermelon slices, for example and let's grab a chest plate as well. So once we've done this, do force our CC, go back into it, and here we go. So on the right, we can pop down the item that we want to be our finished product, and then in the nine squares, we can arrange the items how we want. So up at the top, we can turn permissions on or off, depending on if we want that, and then do we want this to be an advanced workbench only thing? Then in the middle, you can change whether you want shape recipes, so does it matter the shape? Uh, people put it in or not. Then the priority, so the priority that the recipe will be checked, and then finally you can save it. So the way to save it is by choosing a folder, so recipe one, and then choosing a name for the recipe. So let's just call it melon underscore chest plate. And that will save it successfully. You will see in chat that it's been done successfully. And then we can obviously test it by going into a workbench and putting it in the correct shape. And there we go. So we've used Melon to create a golden chest plate. How bizarre. So next we are going to test out the furnace recipe creation. So let's grab something like a bucket of water. And what else can we choose? So let's grab a chest plate and give it an enchantment. And then we are going to go into the furnace recipe creator. And there's a few things we can change in here. So first of all, we can change the cooking time, which is obviously in ticks. So 20 ticks in the second. So if we choose 10 ticks, it's going to be half a second and then we can change the XP as well. Then put them in the correct places in the GUI. We can change the priority if we want to, and then we can obviously save it and change the name. So let's call it recipe one is gonna be the folder again, and let's call it water underscore chest plate. That will save it, and then if we grab a bucket of water, pop it in a furnace, there we go. So within half a second, we have created our item. So that is how you would create a crafting bench and or furnace recipe, uh, which is really awesome. So if you want to create an advanced workbench, it's very, very straightforward. All you need is three different items, a normal workbench, a golden ingot, and a piece of redstone. So pop it in like this, redstone at the bottom, crafting bench in the middle, and ingot at the top, and it will give you an advanced workbench, which will be enchanted. And that will allow you to make um, special recipes that you can't do in the normal workbench. So next we're going to create a custom item. So let's grab a pumpkin pie, for example, and go into the custom item creation section. So pop it in the middle and then we can change the name. So click this and then the green button and we can use color codes and format codes. And we're just gonna make something creative. So let's call it pie of doom. 
uh, for example using gold and bold and if we have a look at it that looks very nice then we can add a custom law as well or delete the law if we don't like it so let's just add I don't know warning hot for example and if we have a look at it it looks nice then we can add enchantment so let's go ahead and give it unbreaking and unbreaking 10 that looks very cool and do you want it to be unbreaking yes or no and then you can add various different flags to it um, depending on the item it may work it may not you can add some damage to the item so let's give it 100 damage so it's very very dangerous you can add potion effects depending on if it's drinkable of course and then you can add other abilities as well so um, some of these will obviously work better with certain items uh, just be aware of that and then we want to click save at the top and just like the others all we need to do is put the folder so let's call it item one and then give it a name so pie of doom and that will create our item and then we can go ahead and grab it so now that it's been saved open up the GUI and go into the load section and what we can do here is type item one space pie of doom and then we can grab it out of the GUI so here is our item it's got the item ID and the finished product and there we go so we've got a really strange and powerful uh, pumpkin pie so that is everything in the plugin obviously you can put this in your server and create the most crazy and wild items you want uh, which is really awesome so if you want to download the plugin feel free to come to the spigot page and you can see all of the information about it make sure you have all of the required plugins so you need wolfy utilities java 8 and the latest version of spigot so make sure you have 1.3.2 or it may not work it also has information about the plugin and uh, you can contact the developer if you have any issues with it. So that is the plugin. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.